There have been so many of them during my practice, but right now I'm going to tell you my favorite one, or rather, not the most favorite, but the most revealing that tells us how God and spirits create situations in our lives. It happened more than 15 years ago when I was living in a mountainous country. The spirits called me there to help the spirit of that country become more powerful because the political situation of that country was very difficult at the time. I was climbing down a mountain after my ritual and gathering medicinal herbs along the way. At one point, I heard not even a physical voice, but a kind of groaning, a heart cry. Even now, when I'm telling you this story, I get goosebumps all over because of this vivid memory. I began to search where that cry had come from, to tune in and to ask my spirit helpers to show me where that sound of a crying for help was coming from. I started running and saw a nine-story building on the seashore, a hotel that had been abandoned because its construction turned out not to be profitable. I started looking and saw the bloody body of a young man. I would guess the boy was about 17 years old. I tuned in and instantly saw the picture. People are looking for the extreme. They want adrenaline. They want some experience, not realizing that this experience is inside us already. You have to search in your soul for these things. Young men would climb up a rope to the ninth floor of the building and then go down using the same rope to prove their superiority. The boy decided to prove that he could go down alone, that he didn't need any safety wire. But when he reached the eighth floor, he fell. His body fell onto the concrete surface of the eighth floor. I saw that it was a bloody body without any sign of life. So I called on my spirit healers. I called on all the elements and started addressing them and performing the ritual of astral surgery. This is when you use special energy that passes through you to put the internal organs back into place. I saw that his spleen and one of his kidneys were ruptured, and if I didn't intervene then, I doubt that he would have survived. I called an ambulance, and at the same time I started the ritual. Of course it took a lot of psychic energy and spiritual power to perform that ritual. It was a small village where everyone knew each other. Everyone was related to each other. Then the ambulance arrived. People started saying, we should tell his parents that he is no longer alive. I thought, God, why are you giving up on him? After all, the world needs him. I saw that this young man had a prominent future. He would be very important to the history of this country. At that moment, a special ambulance arrived, and they loaded him up. I asked, can I go with him? They said, are you a relative? I said, no, but I found him. Please, can I go with him? The medical staff said, basically, he's not alive anymore. We don't care. You can go. I was allowed to go with him. The entire time in the ambulance, I was praying and asking for help. I was calling on all of my spirits. Then they brought him to the hospital. The staff did some tests and took an x-ray of his spine. Everyone was shocked. The doctor said, it can't be true. He fell from such a great height. His body was all bloody. Where is the source of the bleeding? All the internal organs are in place. The spine is intact. And when they washed the whole body, they saw only small wounds that couldn't be the source of so much blood. I was silently praying and thanking the spirits. I was thanking the shamanic deities because it was a miracle. He recovered very quickly. When he was well, he asked me, can I go up again? I forbade him to do so, of course, because I saw his future. His life was directly connected to the fate of his country. And now this young man is 32 years old. I'm still in contact with him. I'm watching his fate unfold watching him and giving him advice. He is one of the young political leaders of this country, and I see how he is helping his country now, young people and what reforms he's proposing. 
It's really a new generation, a new way of thinking. It's a new force for this country. Every time I recall this memory and see such healing situations, I understand that Spirit showed me that it was too early for him to leave the earth and the Spirit sent me there to help him and to help the country where he now lives. I see he has a great future ahead of him when he becomes the president of this country, and he will become the president of this country. I can see that. I know that. I see how the lives of these people who are going to live in this country will change. It's a miracle to me. It's time to start helping people right now. The power will come to you at our seminar. Bring new people to our seminars and learn to be happy.